hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi thank you for joining us so today i will be filming my halloween coffee bar this year i wasn't sure what i wanted to do so i decided to do a ghost theme because i have a whole bunch of ghosts so why not this sign right here um i made it last year with my cricket machine so i figured it will go perfect right here by my coffee bar so i took everything down from what i had to start the video so yeah guys keep watching so i'm using this scent from um mrs meyer it's called reddish and it smells pretty good it's like a four scent So I got this sign last year at Michael's and I thought it would look cute um, because it says Boo Boulevard. But then, as you will see, guys, I decided not to add it just because I was going with black and white and I felt like the orange kind of threw it off. So I decided to add all my little ghosts that I purchased this year from Joann's right on top. And this little vase, I got it at Target. It's from the Thrish Hole Collection. Um, it's one of the items I did purchase that I did not show in my whole video. There will be a couple of items here that you will see that I did not share in my whole video. But once again, I'm undecided of how to... Um, decorate my coffee bar and you will see i will take it out as well this little ghost right here i'm so excited i found it at dollar general for 14 dollars and it does light up so i decided to add it on my coffee bar as well So I got these two bowls and plate from the Heart and Hand collection by Magnolia from Target. I did purchase the beige ones. I think I showed that in my haul and I did use it for my summer, spring slash um, coffee bar. This little pumpkin was from the bullseye section as well. So this sign, I did it myself last year with my Cricut machine. It was just a little house that I got from Dollar Tree and I just painted it black. And with my Cricut, I added um, the decals on them. So this um, branch tree, I want to say, I got it, I want to say last year or two years ago from the both size section at Target. And I had bought two, yes, two, or oh, was it four? I can't remember. Well, no, I think I bought two and then last year they brought them again and I picked up two more. And this little um, riser was the ones that came this year from Target from the bullseye section. It came three of them. And I decided to add this cute picture I bought from Mug Pie. Isn't it freaking adorable? I seen it last year 
and I didn't buy it. I hesitated. I was like, oh, I don't really need it. But then I noticed they brought them back and I was like, all right, I have to pick it up again this year. So this little canister i bought it from killer star and when i seen they have posted it i was like i need it it is the cutest thing ever i did pick up the mug as well with it i said yes i need them both Now this little pumpkin, um, well, jack-o'-lantern spoon. It was a set of two and I did purchase it on Instagram. I can't remember the name of the company, but they are located in the UK, I want to say. And they are very popular. They have different colors and I decided to go with the rose gold. I picked up this little ghost bowl um, from Mud Pie as well. It has like that distressed look on the back and inside it has the little ghost. And it also came with this wooden knife and I thought it was so cute. So I had picked that and the picture together. And they also had a code for I think 20% off, which wasn't bad. So I definitely picked up those two things. so i got this little box from michael's as well and it's supposed to be like more a witchy thingy but i decided to add it in this little corner um facing the other way so it could just look like a blank um book i was just having little difficulties <laughs> trying to figure out how i wanted my coffee bar to look does anyone else do that like they have a vision and then they set it up and then they keep switching it around let me know down below in the comments if that's you because that's literally me all the time <laughs> So I got this little um, ghost mug from Pottery Barn. It's the cutest. It's my second one. I did purchase um, one last year. Every year they come out with the cutest ghost mugs and I always pick them up. So this is another sign I did last year as well with a little house I found a dollar tree and oh guys I'm telling you it was a struggle trying to set up this tear tree how I wanted it like it, it was really a struggle. <laughs>
this little goes I got last year as well at the bull size section in Target. And I thought it would look so cute in that little chair that I got from Michael's. And right here, as you see, I did stack these two mugs together, but then I decided to take it out because I was just not feeling this little corner. I just, it was <laughs> a struggle. I left the tear tray like that. I was like, you know what? It is what it is. Um, this uh, mug rack, I did get, I think around the summertime, um, from the Heart and Hand by Magnolia Collection in Target, and I finally decided to use it. So this mug I got last year at Marshalls. I thought it was cute, so spooky. And I decided to add Halloween mugs to my coffee bar this year just because every year I decorate with my Halloween right on at my coffee bar and I just wanted to switch it up um, and add in my Halloween right on in my cabinet instead. That little ghost right there that you see, that's the other one that I purchased um, from Pottery Barn last year. So these are the mugs I showed in my last um, Halloween haul that I said that had colors inside. So I finally um, opened it and they do have different colors in it and which I'm glad I picked them up because I like the way they look with the different colors inside. So this mug, I'm so happy to get my hands on it. Um, my friend had purchased hers, I think last year. And when I seen that, I fell in love with it. And I was like, I need it. And I finally found it this year. Um, and these, I finally took the plastic out, these <laughs> um, cups, guys. So, but I'm still having used them. I think I'm just gonna have them as a display because I think they are too pretty to use and throw away. got this haunted house um sign from a boutique on instagram um i'm constantly buying from her and i bought two i bought this one and the other one was sleepy hollow and i thought this one would look perfect right on top by the mugs So this um, command strip, oh my god, the struggle, <laughs> just to try to take the paper out. It's so funny. I was there for a minute, guys. So now we're towards the end and i think it came out pretty 
good let me know down below in the comments what you think if i did a good job and do you love it i try to really do the whole um goals it was a struggle but i did it i really kind of love how it came out so yeah guys don't forget to like subscribe comment let me know and till next time have a great day Thank you.